Hi Water Signs, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those cross-watching, and welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. Today we're going to take a look at who is it that's thinking about you, so we'll see um, who's got you on their mind constantly, and uh, what are their thoughts telling them. This is going to be a general reading, so keep that in mind, please. If you're after a personal reading with myself, feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address below the video here. So... Once again, this reading is for water signs, all water energies, Pisces, skin, Scorpio. Um, we'll go ahead, give the cards a shuffle, and let's begin. So who is it that's thinking about you? Okay, I have a few cards that have fallen off camera here. The Hierophant. Justice. The Hangman. We've got a lot of major arcana cards here so this person that you're connected to this person um, whose mental space that you're dominating here is definitely someone who feels very connected to you or I believe that this person is someone who was or maybe still may be very special to you major arcana cards bring in some very powerful messages now, with this person's energy, I do get a sense that there was, this person here is thinking about you because to me, there seems to have been some sort of missed opportunity, okay? They, it's almost like there's regrets here. It feels like their thoughts here are heavily dominated with what could have been. And it appears as though this individual here is telling themselves um, a narrative of what could have been, you know, what uh, could have been the opportunity that they had with you, but they didn't take care. It also seems to me like this person has been doing a lot more thinking about you lately because they seem to be on some sort of spiritual path or their energy seem to be a lot more aware and there's an openness to them here, which is why I believe here they've been thinking about you more and more, okay? It feels like this person here has definitely been, as I've mentioned, I feel like they're, um, they're going down a path and it, it appears as though they're entering a new, a new chapter here. Okay, a new chapter, a new, um, it's like they're going down this passage, this hallway, this pathway to enter the next level here. So the next chapter they're elevating here. This person is definitely reflecting on their choices here. Okay, now I feel like this is someone who saw you in like, they held you in very high regard. And I feel like this person is someone who may or may, may still be intimidated by you. Because I feel like this is someone who wanted commitment with you guys. Okay, and this is someone who's coming across as a very traditional type of energy, okay? So someone who wants a traditional type of partner and a traditional type of relationship and a traditional type of a connection. So I'm not sure if some of you were actually married to this person or you actually had plans to get engaged and get married here, but it feels like this is what this person wanted with you or this is what they had in mind for the both of you here, okay? And now it feels like the reason why they're thinking about you more and more is because I've mentioned that there's like an opening because they've embarked on this spiritual path and this spiritual awareness. To me, it feels like they're accessing um, a part of source here and they're accessing a part of their higher self. Okay, and this is what's causing them to reflect on their choices, reflect on their decisions. So this person has actually been thinking about you a lot. To me, it feels like this is an energy that's going to connect with you and it's going to reach this person. This energy is going to want to reach out to you. However, this won't happen just yet because I feel like this person is doing some inner work. Okay, there is something here. Notice the uh, illuminance here with the hangman and as well as the lantern in the hermit here. Now, this person is doing some inner work. They're doing some introspection, some reflecting, some thinking back. Okay, yes, there is some regrets. There is a sense of a missed opportunity or they feel like they robbed themselves of the opportunity to get to know you. You know, For some of you, this is someone who 
ghosted you or who pulled away and walked away abruptly or there were maybe external circumstances that may have ended the connection now this person has got a lot of things on their mind and they're at a point in their life where they're doing a lot of soul searching they're gathering their thoughts they're gathering their feelings and you're definitely weighing heavily on their mind here so thoughts of you have definitely taken up a lot of their mental space okay um hold off on connecting with this person because i feel like right now they have to do that soul searching they have to do that inner work because if you connect with them too prematurely too early um you may not necessarily catch them in that receptive or responsive kind of stage. So let them connect with you. So if this is someone whom you're not connected to, you guys aren't talking, um, and you're at a period of separation, the universe does have a plan to bring the two of you back together. But I feel like it's important that they reach out to you first. And I do see them coming in with a message, a message or a phone call here that is going to hold a lot of truth to what they say here but first I feel like this person has to do a lot of thinking okay first this person has to do a lot of introspection looking back on things they want to restore a sense of balance or equilibrium to this connection they want to right a wrong I'm seeing an apology that's being owed to them an apology coming in from sorry that's being um owed to you so it's coming in from them and it's being owed to you here yeah it's all about restoring that balance here even though this person has ghosted you they never meant to disrespect you um and it's not that they did i feel like it was the fact that they sort of disappeared or pulled away it said a lot more about them and what was happening with them at that particular point in time in their life than it than it did on you or it did about you here so wow they've they've really gone through this they're really gone or they may still be going through this journey this journey of awakening here of emotional awakening spiritual awakening they're opening up themselves to different spiritual planes and different worlds and it's funny because they didn't see just how much they were into you or they didn't see just how much you know how special you were to them or how just how strong their feelings were for you or just how much they may have even loved you still love you they didn't see it then it took your absence and sometimes it's it's a strange thing and it's a funny thing actually but sometimes time apart from one another actually can make you realize just how much you truly care or you truly love that person that individual so that time apart, that distance between the both of you that I'm picking up in this spread here, guys, is bringing you closer together. And you may not see it just yet, but I feel like their feelings have grown for you. And I feel like they've come to this awakening and to this realization that I don't think otherwise would it, it wouldn't have happened had they not embarked on this spiritual path and on this um, awakening that they're going through. So yeah in a way this separation this disconnection this time apart here is bringing you closer together so even though there's a you know there was a distance or there may still be a distance at the end of the day it it appears as though the universe here is orchestrating to bring the two of you back together okay now do not rush this as i've mentioned do not reach out to this person prematurely because they are going they're doing some inner work so allow them that time and that space now to you know get to work on themselves okay and when they're ready they will reach out and they will connect and you'll notice that they will be in a much more responsive and receptive energy state okay all right, guys, and these are your messages. So thanks for watching and listening. Please feel free to share your um, support by subscribing, sharing, liking. For those interested in a personal reading, feel free to connect. Otherwise, bye for now.